How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip. New year is coming, new planes, new toys. And hopefully we get some new rules that allows pilots to fly some of these beautifully designed new birds. Today, we're going to check out two of the newest sporty airplanes in the market, the JMB VL3 and the TL Sparker. Whether you're an avid pilot or you're just getting started in your pilot career, these are two airplanes to check out if you're looking for something sleek, modern, and fast. If you are looking to jumpstart your pilot career, make sure you check out our training program at lookupflightacademy.com. We can train you from zero hours all the way to your commercial rating. We fly light modern airplanes just like the ones we're featuring in this video, and we also have a state-of-the-art AATD flight simulator. With these two complementing each other, we can get you up to speed in no time. So make sure you check us out, schedule a tour, and we can get you on your way. Now, who is flying the VL3 or the TL Sparker? Even though complex, these airplanes are your perfect beginner airplanes. They are light in nature, less controls to manage, you have a FADIC engine in the Rotax 915 or the 916 which these airplanes fly with, and you've got modern Garmin avionics in both aircraft. Let's consider your mission first. If you're looking for a cross-country machine that's sleek, fast, and also economical, the VL3 can do the job. Powered by a Rotax 915 or 916 engine, you're able to travel over a thousand nautical miles in the VL3. You do have two seats, so it's just gonna be you and a passenger. The design. At first glance, the VL3 and the TL Sparker look very similar but there's quite a bit that are different about these airplanes. The VL3 has a retractable landing gear, so does the Sparker. But one major difference between the two is that the VL3 has shorter wheelbase, so you're quite low to the ground compared to the TL Sparker. This could be a good thing or a bad thing. Good for pilots to be able to get in and out of the airplane much easier, but this could also become an issue when coming into land. From the time we checked out the VL3 Evolution, something that I noticed also was the flaps on this wings. The flaps are quite small in the VL3, but the airplane flies beautifully and lands very nicely. The cabin of the VL3 Evolution looks sporty, very sporty. You have a cabin width of 45 inches, and you've got your standard stick and rudder with the stick being in the middle of your seat and you've got a bubble canopy so you can see everywhere from a 10 miles distance depending on your preference the seats in the vl3 are quite thin again the design is more of a sporty look and you're pretty much flying a sports car the tl sparker on the other hand also has a retractable landing gear when you step in the cabin, you do have a wider cabin, perhaps the widest I've seen in this class at 49 inches. What's also uniquely different in the Sparker is that you have side sticks instead of middle sticks. And this was done by design to create more space for the pilot and their passenger. In my opinion, the seats in the TL Sparker feels more comfortable. They're more plush and have better finishes to them. And of course, a cool detail feature in the TL Sparker is that you have an electronic button to adjust your rudder pedals. And this plane comes with all glass, over-equipped in some cases. When it comes to the avionics, both the TL Sparker and the VL3 are well-equipped so you won't go wrong with any of them. Design features though, I have to give an upper hand to the TL Sparker. You have a wider cabin, more comfortable seats, little details like a cup holder, electronic button for your rudder pedals, and you have a longer wheelbase. Now let's move on to your performance. When you're checking out either of this plane, you have to understand what you're getting for the money. How fast does it go? How fast does it climb? How far can you fly? And how well is it to manage your speeds? The VL3 Evolution looks fast, and it is fast. This airplane will cruise nicely at 200 miles per hour while only burning less than 8 gallons of fuel per hour. It is practically a rocket when you take off, as you're climbing at 2,000 feet a minute in the VL3. The useful load in the VL3 is 517 pounds. Once you fill up the fuel tanks, this pretty much becomes a one-person airplane. But what truly sets the VL3 Evolution apart is how far of a distance you can fly. 
This plane will easily cruise and fly up to 1400 nautical miles. That is nothing to sneeze at. The TL Sparker on the other hand will fly up to 1000 miles. You'd also be cruising at around 200 miles per hour in this aircraft. Your climb rate is a little slower at only 1200 feet a minute, but where the TL Sparker really shines is the amount of load it can carry. Because this airplane has a full gross weight of 1652 pounds, what that translates to is that you can carry two full grown adults, 75 pounds of luggage, and 35 gallons of fuel. It's a heavier plane, you're not climbing as fast, but it will take you the distance. Performance in this airplane are nearly identical, but you do have little differences. If you want more speed, definitely the VL3 Evolution. If you want more comfort and you want to carry more people and load, then you're looking at the TL Sparker. Now, how much work is it to live with these two planes? Off the bat, the TL Sparker or the VL3 will fit in your standard T hangar. Both airplanes are European brands, which means parts and lead time is something to be aware of. Both JMB and TL have good distributors here in the United States. The lead time for the VL3 Evolution is about 12 months. The lead time for a TL Sparker is about 6 months. Insurance rates with both airplanes are likely going to be higher than usual. One, given that they're both fairly new products, they're both experimental airplanes, and they both have high haul values, which we'll get to in a minute. Maintenance, on the other hand, should be fairly easy because both these airplanes fly with a Rotax engine. A new airplane from either JMB or TL Sparker will likely be fitted with the Rotax 916 turbocharged engine. And if you can find a good AMP mechanic at your local airport, then maintenance should be a breeze. Speaking of AMP mechanics, we're always looking to hire new mechanics at Lookup Flight Academy. If you're an AMP based in the state of Georgia, we're located at KLZU. If you would like the opportunity to work with us, please shoot your resume to Mike at LookupFlightAcademy.com. When you're looking at a JMB or a TL aircraft, support is uttermost important. So make sure you do your due diligence before pulling the trigger on any of these planes. And the last piece we'll cover is the price. Will the VL3 break the bank or with the Sparker? Both airplanes cost roughly the same amount. If you want a fully loaded airplane like the ones we've covered on the channel, chances are you're spending roughly $425,000. The Sparker does start at $327,000, but more than likely you'd be opting for a $400,000 airplane. Now you can think of other options you can find for the same price. While the Mosaic rules are on the horizon, chances are if Mosaic passes today, both the VL3 Evolution and the TL Sparkle will become light sport aircraft, not experimental. What that means is more pilots will have access to these planes and maybe they become cheaper, but only time will tell. And that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If this is your first time, please make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give that thumbs up and share it with others. Thanks so much for spending time with me. Again, my name is Mike and I will catch you on the next video.